pastor in New York and then in Philadelphia. During the Civil War, Gibbs traveled to the North, to North Carolina and South Carolina to establish schools for newly freed, freed slaves, uh, after which he went out to Florida in 1867 and was elected to the State Constitutional Convention the following year. Gibbs then became the first black person to serve on the Florida cabinet when Governor Harrison Reed named him Secretary of State in 1869 and in 1873, he was appointed superintendent of public instruction, a position he held to his death. A scholar, abolitionist, and educator, Gibbs was instrumental in creating Florida's public school system, and he was a driving force behind the bill which established what is now Florida A&M University. It is my privilege this year to present the Jonathan Clark Gibbs Award to Andrew Chu. Can I have Andrew Chu? Several broadcasts on YouTube interviews of students, 
from the Asian American Studies Conference held here at Dartmouth in the spring of 2006. Podcasts of several alumni profiles, including my personal favorite, BJ Kai, class of 2001, <laughs> and successfully recorded and digitized the 2006 Spring Korean Culture Night. In addition to these technological advances with DAPA, and has also been instrumental in plugging Dartmouth, <clears throat> plugging DAPA with other Dartmouth alumni groups, including the Dartmouth Club of New York, Alumni for Common Sense, and of course other affiliated groups. Under Andrew's leadership, DAP has also reached out to other Asian and Asian American Ivy League organizations participating in several all Ivy League alumni events in New York City. After Dartmouth, Andrew worked as an analyst at Morgan Stanley in the Los Angeles, Los Angeles office. Next, he served, served as an analyst at YouTube Overture Service. And now he's back in the East Coast at Accenture, where he is manager in their corporate development division. In addition to his constant professional development, Andrew continues to develop his creative persona by continuing to write plays, one of which was fully read by the East-West Players Theater Group, the first Asian American theater company in the country. Between work and theater, Andrew serves as a financial advisor for the Trinity Services and Trinity Services and Food for the Homeless, a nonprofit organization in New York City. In the fall, Andrew plans to go on to business school at either Columbia or Stanford, of which he just found out he got into Columbia. So congratulations, Andrew. And in recognition of your extraordinary commitment to Dartmouth, your community, and your profession, I am honored to present with you the Jonathan Clark Gibbs Affiliated Group of the Year Award. Thank you. 